You're listening to The Virtuous Mind, a podcast from Providence Christian College that discusses all facets of the human experience and the liberal arts from a biblical worldview. I'm your host, Dr. David E. Alexander. In William Shakespeare's pastoral comedy, As You Like It, there is a farcical character named Touchstone, a court jester who is initially perceived to be a fool, but is in fact replete with witty examinations of humanity's flaws. As he watches the irrationality of the main players, Touchstone famously states, The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. For Christians, Touchstone's observations echo the words of Proverbs 28. Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. For the college student, there is no shortage of foolishness that one can engage in, and it is tempting to believe that one is beyond the need to learn. But how does a young person develop a desire for wisdom rather than folly? Joining us on today's program is Dr. Ben Austin, preceptor in biblical studies at Providence Christian College. As a professor, Dr. Austin often finds himself not only offering his students intellectual and historical insight into God's Word, but also spiritual guidance as well. Ben, we are so glad to have you on the program today. David, thank you so much for having me on. Uh, Ben, as students struggle with their fallen, sinful nature, how can they seek knowledge and understanding? And how can they possess true wisdom when there are so many worldly pleasures vying for their mind, heart, and affections? David, those are really great questions. You know, when our students sit down to study, in front of them are the books they bought for the courses, but also at their desks is a phone, a tablet, or a computer. Yep. Uh, Education has always had its price, but the information age has now monetized our attention. Our students' time is money for advertisers, and the apps on their devices use AI algorithms to feed them the content that will keep them consuming. They pay to be shaped by a Christian liberal arts education, and others are paying to shape their mental and consumer habits. Yeah, we've all heard you are what you eat, but how nutritious really is what we consume while our faces are buried in our phones? David, this isn't a new problem, though AI may make digital content more addicting. We see the issue already in the Old Testament. In Proverbs 15, 14, it says, An understanding heart seeks out knowledge, but the faces of the stupid graze on folly. So to the modern reader, we have a mixed metaphor, but really it works to contrast the understanding heart with the faces of the stupid. Elsewhere in the Bible, the word for seek is used for seeking information from a prophet, seeking to find something lost, seeking an audience with a king or with God. So what the word implies is seeking something one lacks, but also will benefit from finding. The word can also mean to aim at or practice, so the understanding heart practices knowledge. This implies that it takes effort to go out and find knowledge, and maybe takes work to acquire it, like learning a language or earning a degree. Also, in some contexts, the word for seek implies to desire or demand. An understanding heart wants knowledge and won't settle for just anything. On the other hand, the faces of the stupid graze on folly. Now, don't be offended by stupid. It's not a lack of natural intelligence, but having a lack of judgment or having false confidence. The word for graze is elsewhere used for sheep or goats, which mindlessly stuff their faces into whatever happens to be in front of them. The faces of the stupid then are like goats, mindlessly eating grass or thistles or an old boot or tin can like in the cartoons. And note also that they're plural as though many take this approach, unlike the individual understanding heart. This proverb is true of the heart seeking spiritual wisdom and edification. It is difficult to read the Bible, to study scripture and sound devotionals, to give up Sundays for worship. How much easier to just stuff our faces with moralistic cliches, or even just grazing on social media, the headlines, whatever happens to be in front of us, happens to be on TV. The great irony of the smartphone is our constant access to all the knowledge of mankind, but we use them mostly for angry quips to strangers and grazing through endless lists of TikToks, tweets, posts. I know it's easy to stuff my face with folly, just like so much junk food. It's easier by far than learning things of value or seeking out true wisdom. David, I know, like you, you hate hearing from students. Just tell me what I need to know for the test. 
when we aim to show the grand intellectual vistas available in our subject, when one puts in the effort to make the scholarly ascent. Yes. One of our goals of this liberal arts education is to help students develop a heart of understanding, to instill in students a habitual need to seek out knowledge. Francis Roberts, a Puritan minister of the 17th century, says, Men's books with worthless chaff are stored. God's scriptures golden grains afford. Reject the chaff and spend thy pains in gleaning up these golden grains. Interesting. If that's what he says about books, what would he think about social media and television? Yeah. I do remind my students it is important to take breaks and these distractions have some value, but they need to remember who they are becoming. A reformed Christian liberal arts education is not just about content. It's about developing a heart and mind that seeks out knowledge of God as he's revealed in Scripture, that seeks his wisdom in creation, his work in history, and understands our role in serving him in our vocations. So I remind my students, even as I remind myself, let's not graze our faces into stupidity, but seek out knowledge. Or as Paul says in Colossians 3.1, seek the things that are above. We are dying to this world and gaining a new self, which, as Colossians 3.10 says, is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. You've been listening to The Virtuous Mind, a podcast from Providence Christian College. The mission of Providence Christian College as a reformed Christian institution is to equip students to be firmly grounded in biblical truth, thoroughly educated in the liberal arts, and fully engaged in their church, their community, and the world for the glory of God and for service to humanity. We'd love to have you visit our campus. Providence Christian College is now accepting applications for the upcoming semester. Contact an admissions counselor to learn more. Visit providencecc.edu.